See you later. Now to get to work. So, tell the world what you did. Tell later, oh, <laughs> what? Tell everybody that I put diesel in a regular truck. Yeah. I'm off. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, now we got to get the stupid thing running again. It's a 350 Chevy 1990, just like that dumb woman did in the winter time. So did he. <laughs> Anyways, he got a cheap tow from that guy, and so let's get to work. We got to disconnect the fuel lines and purge her. Yep, toilet bowl injected, which means throttle body injected TBI. That's simpler than the other system with the multi port. Not a problem. It's going to smoke like a bastard when you get it running. How many miles on this thing? I don't know. This pedometer is at 359 and doesn't work, man. <laughs> 359 and don't work. Oh, that's Chevy tough for you. <laughs> yeah, no, 347. Huh? 347. Yeah, and I drive down the road not knowing how fast I'm going all the time. <laughs> I just gotta estimate. Guesstimate. <laughs> well, as fast as you can get to the beer store, that's all that matters. So now we're loosening the nut on the main feed line that goes to the throttle body. We know it's the main feed line because this line is bigger than the other line, which is the return line. Well, and she's dribbling and bleeding already. Perfect. Well, now I got a rag stuff there so I don't have to bend the fuel line to get out of the way to catch the stuff that's going to come out when we start purging it. Turn the key all the way to run position just for a second. I want to see if the fuel pump powers up. Don't try to start it. Just go, just turn it on. Oh yeah, there's stuff coming. Do it again. Turn it off and on again. Did you go all the way off and on? Yeah. Well, maybe not all the way off there. Go all the way off and on. There. All right. Give it a little go. Rent, rent a little bit. Again. Again. It's coming. We may not even have to bypass the fuel pump since you've already drained the tank out and put gas in there. Okay. Crank her a little bit again. Again. This is becoming a cranker video. Anyways, keep doing that a little bit. That's lots coming. I can hear it dribbling on the ground. Want a pan under there? I don't care. Uh, crank her again a bit. Keep going. Now stop, let me smell it. Okay. Mm, it's kind of gassy. Yeah, it's, I can the, smell it from here. Yeah, the gas is coming. We'll do it a couple more times. Okay. It's be an easy one. It might be. Again. Again. Okay, shut her off. I'll smell again. Mm. That's fairly gassy. Now we're going to see if we can get it to fire up. Well, because we spilt fuel all over the motor and the ground, got my handy fire extinguisher ready just in case. I know fire is good, it increases ratings. Now we got to dump a little gas in the cup and do like we usually do at the farm, run her off the bottle and pour a little bit in there to prime it. Remember, prime for a good time. Definitely she might fire if the plugs aren't too fouled. And then hopefully it stays running long enough to purge the system by itself and get the fuel back going through now that I've got the line already tightened up. Now here we go. Okay. Okay, get in there and give her a crank. Put your foot down halfway. On the gas? Yep. See what's going to happen. Yep. 
Oh, there comes that smoke. Keep her running. Yeah, she's smoking like Keep a going. diesel. Yeah, don't shut her off. Keep her running. The catalytic converter killer. Yeah, it's getting better quick. Just like my basement when my furnace goes out, it fills up with big gray smoke like that. Yeah, and your basement could blow up when that happens. Yeah, I know, I had to clean out the duct and had that much dirt in it. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, okay, the kitties are in the house. You know anybody that's got any houses for rent or apartments, North End? No, but did you check Kijiji? Okay. She's blowing smoke. Let her idle, she's blowing smoke rings. Yeah, little smoke rings. That's telling me we got a couple cylinders that's still missing on. Okay, just keep the revs constant until it gets all flushed through. Motor sounds good. Real good sounding motor for all those kilometers. Gee, that was the simplest uh, diesel repair mix-up I ever did. Didn't realize how much fuel I dripped, but anyway, it's like a puddle to get the match and light it afterwards. There still must be a lot of diesel in that tank. Yeah, it'll restart, shut her down. Okay, now just try to restart it right now. Yeah, see? We'll just go buy some more gas and dilute what's in the tank. You'll be fine. Cool. So a little dilution is a solution. And it'll get them out of the way, and I can take my money and have a good day. All set. Now I'll have to hold that for you. <laughs>